Good day students. Welcome to another new edition of this online class. My name is Iwale Ramati, still taking your mathematics. Today we shall be looking at angle of elevation and depression. Under it we shall be looking at horizontal and vertical plane. We shall also be looking at angles of elevation and depression, which is the main topic. Then what the relationship, the similarities, between angle of elevation and depression, then how you can measure an angle of elevation and depression, then we look at the scale drawing. So let's start with the first content, which is horizontal and vertical plane. When we are talking of horizontal plane, they are lines that lies flat, that is, they move just like when you are sleeping on your bed you can see when you are when you lie down on your bed that position that you are is is horizontal is horizontal in direction so but when we are talking of vertical vertical means when you stand upright that is for instance if i ask you to stand up when you stand up that is a what a vertical plane or a vertical position but once you lie on your bed, just like the 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 ground, when you when you sleep on the floor, then that position that you are is what we call a horizontal plane. So that is exactly how horizontal plane is and a vertical plane. So here we read an horizontal plane lies flat. You can see any shape that is doing as if it is sleeping, that is in that position of sleeping on a flat surface then it's regarded as what as horizontal plane and any plane well a vertical plane stand like a straight wall that is whenever there is a shape that is standing upright or when you stand upright that position that you are is said to be a vertical plane now let's move to angles of elevation now, what do we mean by angle of elevation? Angle of elevation, the angle that an observer would raise is or a line of sight above a horizontal line in order to see an object. For instance, if I ask you to stand up now and look straight, when you look straight, that is your the, the, the sight. At, I, I mean, when, you, when I ask you to stand up, when you look forward without even looking beside or backward, when you look straight, that will be the horizontal level of your sight. But when I ask you to raise your head up to look at the sun, then that is an angle of elevation. That is, you are looking up above your nose, your sight. So the angle of elevation is the angle between the horizontal and the observer's line of what? Line of sight. Now, for instance, now looking at the diagram below, it shows what we mean by angle of elevation. So you can see this is where the observer is, where it is the person is standing. Now, this is the object at which you want to look at. Now, for the observer to be standing here, it means that this is where the eye of the observer is. So when you look straight, when you look straight, that will be the horizontal level. Then when you look up, you see that when you look up, it forms an angle. So this angle is what we call angle of elevation. That is, you are looking up, upright. So in the diagram above, the angle of elevation of the object from the observer is a degree. So that is, this is the angle of ele the angle of elevation. So this is which is angle A. This angle is called the angle of elevation. So where the observer is, so where it's facing will be the, level, the horizontal level. Now when the observer is looking up at the sun, so it forms an angle, which is angle of elevation. So let's continue from there. We shall be moving to angle of depression now. So if the object is below the level of the observer then the angle between the horizontal and the observer's line of sight is called an angle of depression that is for instance 
if you are in if you are living in a two story building and you are at the second floor now someone is now calling you down from the down or let me say someone is calling you outside the gate and you are in the second floor of the house so and you ask the person to come inside so once the person comes in to the compound you look down to the person so when you look down to the person that is angle of depression so assuming you are here you are here if you are here now and once you are there then this will be your horizontal direction because that's where you are looking straight but once you look down to the person that is calling you here so that is an angle of depression you can see that is coming down so when your sight is coming down or assuming you are holding something and that thing fell from your hand so the best thing to do is to look down at where the thing is so once you look down that is an angle of depression so angle of elevation is where you raise up your head to look at something above your sight and angle of depression is where you look down so in the diagram above the angle of depression of the object from the observer is beta you can see so that is the angle at which <clears throat> it is angle of what angle of depression so there is none of this angle it will have something to do with the horizontal plane with the horizontal plane now measuring angles of elevation and depression how can we measure angles of elevation and depression angle of elevation and depression can be measured with a simple instrument called clinometers a clinometers is just like your protector that you have in your mathematical sets so simple kilometer 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 is made from a chalkboard protector you can see in which a plumb line hangs from the center of the protector so it means it's just like you have a protector and a plumb is just like a string that is having something at the edge of the string or a rope or when you tie a stone to a rope and you attach it to the middle of your of your protector so the angle that the plumb line makes with the 90 degree vertical axis when the clinometers is placed in the observer's direction is the angle of elevation or angle of depression so looking at this man now this is the plumb line you can see that's the plumb line likewise you can see the observer is looking at it from here from here so if the of this is this will be the horizontal where it is looking at so that will be the the horizontal now when you look at the figure the diagram here you see that the plumb line hangs from the center which is at the center of the kilometer from the center of the protector so and when you look at the center the center is labeled as what as a so it is the center is labeled as a and when you look at the shape very well it forms a right angled triangle which is an angle of what of 90 degree now the observer sight an object along the line when you look at the line at which the observer is looking at you see that the, uh, the observer is looking at the line from b and the middle of the protector is label a where this is labeled o so this is b this is a and this is o and this is c so when you look at this now if you look at this very well the observer side can be as this which is straight that is from from b to c but before you can move from b to c that will pass through b a c that is line b a c so the angle of elevation then you can see there is an angle at the center of the protector which is labeled angle e so the angle e can be reached in two ways now in two ways how can it be reached so if 
the angle of elevation d degree is the angle between o a you can see the, the angle of elevation is here if I, if the observer is here looking at it to angle a from that is from a which is from the middle here to o and from o to a so it means the angle of elevation of e here is from here because this is the object at which the the man is looking at so it means the angle is here away and here so the size of e can be read as from the scale and don't forget that the angle e is between triangle b a o so you can see this is b this is a and this is o now looking at that so once this angle is increasing then e will also be increasing so once this line is moving like this or if this is moving here so the or uh, the the angle e also increases and that's why notice that e degree increases from zero at z at o at o here to 90 degree it means it increases from here to here at what at b degrees now let's look at the relationship the similarities between angle of elevation and depression don't forget in other words as shown in the diagram below the angle formed with the horizontal when an observer look up is called angle of elevation you are told that's what we did at the beginning of this class where i told you that when an observer is looking up that is an angle of elevation you can see this is the observer this is the eye this is the eyes now once the eye is here once you stand up when you are looking straight that will be your horizontal line or horizontal level now when you sight up or when you look at the sun up then that is an angle of elevation which means you raise your head above your what your sight and same thing happens to angle of depression whereas the angle formed with the horizontal when an observer looks down so if the observer is here and the observer is looking straight that is the horizontal level now when the observer is looking down at an object downward that is angle of depression and this between them forms the angle that you are looking that you are looking for so you can see the diagram is here which is very clear so this is the object at which the observer is looking at and that is the angle between the horizontal line and the object the observer is looking at now there is a connection between angle of elevation and angle of depression for example the angle of elevation of y from x is the same as the angle of depression of x from y that is straightforward so if the angle of elevation of y from x that is from y you can see this is an angle of elevation this is where the observer is this is the ground level and this is where the observer is looking at if the observer is also here are we together so if the observer is here now this will be the horizontal and this will also be the angle of depression so you can see so if the angle of elevation of y is from x the angle of depression will also be the same thing as from x from x from y to x so the angle of elevation of y will be from x and the angle of depression of x will be from y so you can see this is an angle of elevation and this is an angle of depression so if the observer is standing here this will be the horizontal level 
and this will be the angle of elevation. Now, if the observer is now standing here, this will also be the angle of the, the horizontal plane, and this will be the what? The angle of depression. So you can see is that's the only relationship or the connection between angle of elevation and depression. So if the angle of elevation of y is from x, definitely the angle of depression of x will also be from from y. Now let's now move to scale drawing. When we are talking about a scale drawing, a scale drawing is just like a scale factor. What do we mean by scale factor? It's just when you use a scale to reduce the size of a plane figure, of a shape. So when you use a scale to, 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 to reduce, you can enlarge. And you can reduce, you can enlarge. So when you reduce a shape, when you are given a shape in, in a given length, and because if I give you 35 centimeter by 50 centimeter now, it's not possible for you to use your ruler to draw that in your notes. But you can reduce the scale. You can use a simple scale. So when you reduce such a scale, assuming if I give you 50 cm by 20 cm, you can reduce your scale to 5 cm by what? By 2 cm. So it means you are using a scale of what? Of 1 cm to be what? To be, fifth, to be 10 cm. So you are, when you are using a scale of that, so it means 50 centimeter will now later come back to 5 centimeter, which is 50 divided by 10. Same thing applies to 20 divided by 10. That will give you 2. So what is the angle of elevation of theta? So when you look at this very well, if this is a building, a building, the observer is here. So... If the observer is here, the site of the observer, the distance between the observer's site and the wall is 12 meters. Now, the angle of elevation of the observer to the top of the building is now 35 degrees. So the angle of elevation of theta from this question is what? Is 35 degree is 35 degree now if the question now says i should look for the height of this plane figure that's very simple if i want to look for the height is this i'm looking for the height the height will be like this so the that this from here to here is the height of the what of the of the building so, the first thing you do is to draw a sketch of the figure in the form of a right-angled triangle. Because when you look at the shape, the shape is already giving you a right-angled triangle. Because this is the right angle. So, if I want to draw this now, this, this will be the height. This will be the, the horizontal level. And this will be the angle of elevation. So, as you can see it in the next... In the next slide so the first thing is you first make a sketch now if you want to now make a sketch it's better you reduce the horizontal level of the shape so you can reduce the horizontal level then the second step is you choose an appropriate scale considering the measurement of the or the given length in the original diagram so you can see from 12 meter a scale of one centimeter represents two meter so if I use a scale of 1 cm to represent 2 meter, now if I now have 12 meters, if I have 12 meters, so it means these 12 meters that I'm given there will later come back to 6 cm. Because if 1 cm is representing 2 meter, so definitely 2, uh, two if 1 cm is representing 2 meters, then 12 meters will now be what? Will be 12 divided by 2, which is 6 centimeters. So in this, is it my new scale will now be the, the base of this building will be 6 centimeters now. 
we whereas I have reduced my scale from 12 meter back to 6 centimeter. Why? Because on my ruler, I am not having a meter. So the best thing I can do here is to convert that meter to centimeter. And that's why I'm using a small scale in which I can get from my ruler, which is having centimeter. So with this now, I can now come back here and draw the appropriate diagram, measure and mark the given angle. So once I have, I will just take my ruler, label it to be, if this is A, this is B, and this is C. Now, don't forget the horizontal ground is now reduced back to 6 cm, which is 2, uh, which is 1 cm percent 2 meter. So if 1 cm is, that, it means that 2 meter is equal to 1 cm. If 2 meter is 1 cm, 2 meter, 2 meter is equal to 1 cm meter if two meter is one centimeter definitely one meter will now be one over two centimeter so if i have one over two centimeter then two meter now two meter will now be one over two sorry 12 meter rather 12 meter will now be one over two multiply by 12 centimeter so then two here one two in twelve that will be giving six so it means i have six centimeter so if i have six centimeter now so it means my bc will be six centimeter my angle still remains 35 degrees so it means i'm looking for this angle which is labeled as x so your own is just to take your ruler once you take your ruler just use your ruler but don't forget this line must be correctly must be accurately six centimeter place your protector here place your protector here and break out an angle of 35 degrees so when you bring an angle of 35 degrees assuming this is let, let me show you something here if this is my straight line my straight line then I put my protector here. As when I put my protector here, my 35 is here. I bring it out. Is that clear? Now, join this line also together. So for your 6 cm, we have a place here it's going to end. Now, place your ruler there and draw a straight line to cut B from A. Now, place your ruler here and measure it. So, the value you get here when you use your ruler to measure, that will give you the height of the building. And you can see that is what is in step 4. Measure length AB in centimeter, then convert it back to meter. So, whatever you may get there, then you now convert it back to meter. By what? By multiplying your answer by 2. By multiplying it by 2. So, your answer will now be in meter don't forget your scale your scale is one centimeter represents two one meter one meter represents two centimeters so that is the end of our class for today now you have just two questions for your class activities today then the first one is you say if the angle is angle of elevation or depression you can see you have three diagrams four diagrams five diagrams you have five diagrams this is one this is one this is two this is three this is four and this is five so you have five diagrams it's just for you to indicate which of the diagrams are, is what is an angle of elevation and the one that is angle of depression just look at where the observer is, where the observer is looking at it. So you are looking for angle A. So look at where angle A is and tell us the type of angle that you have. Then the second question is what you are going to show the workings out for me. When the elevation of the sun is 33 degrees, a student has a shadow of 2.9 meter long. Don't forget, when you are standing, your shadow will be lying 
at an horizontal ground. Just go when the when there is daybreak, go out, stand up somewhere, look at your shadow. You look at the position of your shadow. So also make this is an application of real life activity. Stand there. So your 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 shadow will be the horizontal plane. So make a square drawing and find the height. So then you look for the height, the your height as you are standing of the student to the nearest five centimeter. So it means you leave your answer here in centimeter. So and I I am expecting you to to send your the answers, your solution to my WhatsApp later is by Friday. Please let us try and make sure you send it. By Friday, so that I can have time to go over it and send you the correction if there is any. And if you have any question, please don't forget to ask any question you don't understand. It's a pity since we have been doing this class, I have not seen any one of us asking me question. So please, if you have any question, don't be shy or don't be afraid of asking. Question. The more you ask and the more you learn. So, good day.